The answer is you've got both — both extremes are wrong. It's a basic middle proposition. The first major piece of legislation I introduced was to reform the immigration process, to make it more orderly. Uh, my Republican friends in Congress should join us in the solutions. President Biden defending his handling of the border as he wraps up a high-stakes summit with his Mexican and Canadian counterparts. The three leaders talking up their cooperation to stem record-breaking border crossings, but not putting those words into any new action. Fox News contributor Mark Thiessen joins us now. Kind of a dud of a summit if this is the case, Mark. Absolutely. And to say both extremes are wrong and that he's in the center is just a lie. Let me let, here's what's extreme to come into office and reverse the the sensible immigration policies of both your Republican and Democratic predecessors. I mean, let's let's not forget. It's not just Donald Trump's immigration policies that that uh, Biden reversed, like the Re remain in Mexico policy or the safe third country agreements. He reversed Obama's deportation policies. Recall that Barack Obama was attacked by the left as the deporter in chief because he deported over three million uh, illegal migrants under Biden. Ice deportations have dropped to the lowest levels rec ever recorded, including people who have gone through the court process, been adjudicated and been found to be deported. He's just not deporting them. Uh, Ob Obama detained immigrants, uh, illegal immigrants, including families. Biden has actually asked Congress to reduce the number of detention beds. He's he's releasing them into the communities. Obama ha doubled the number of prosecutors executions of people for uh, coming into this country illegally for illegal entry and reentry into the country those prosecutions have dropped uh, under under uh, under Biden so if you're not deporting you're not detaining and you're not prosecuting you're letting out a welcome mat and he's not enforcing current law you, that the, the job of the president is to enforce the law he doesn't need any more tools from congress you he know, doesn't need an immigration Mark, deal he just needs to enforce the laws that that Trump and Obama did i don't know what he got from this trip what, what, what did he get from the Mexican leader? I mean, they, they are both on camera last night at 6 o'clock Eastern time, and the Mexican president is thanking our president for not erecting any more barriers along the border. I, if that's your neighbor to the south, you got a long way to go to enforce anything that you want to do. No. Nope. No, that's exactly right. And what, what did Donald Trump do? Uh, he, the reason we don't have, didn't have the record uh, number of migrants crossing over that we do under Biden is because Trump actually threatened to impose tariffs on Mexico if they didn't enforce their own. They've, they've got a southern border, too. Right. And they're not. And, they, and, and because of those policies, they actually sent the National Guard for the first time to their southern border to stop the Central American migrants from coming into their country so that they never reached our border. So, you know, it, it, you have to you, the, the weakness is 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 provocative. Weakness causes uh, causes all of these problems. And Biden is basically came, went to Mexico and was thanked for his weakness on the border. I thought also it was interesting that you have the Sinaloa cartel actually declaring war on the Mexican government. And we know that the Sinaloa cartel is one, they've got heavy military equipment. They are trafficking in humans. They are trafficking in drugs. And they, are, yep. you know, they have the cooperation of China where they get the precursors of those drugs from. And yet, yep. and this right, right across our border, not even 10 miles south of the border, it's happening right there. And there just wasn't a question or even a request by uh, Orbador for any, any support, any help. And what do you make of that? Well, the, the the cartels have killed more Americans through through the through the smuggling of deadly fentanyl into this country than any terrorist organization has. Uh, I mean, Congressman Mike Waltz has uh, is introducing legislation to have an authorization of military force against the cartels. I think that's something mm -hmm. we ought to consider. But I mean, it starts with enforcing the current law. This is a crisis of choice. Obama has the I mean, I'm sorry, Biden has the exact same laws on the books that Trump and Obama had before him. Mm -hmm. And the difference is he's not enforcing the law. So he's going to saying we need an immigration deal in Congress. Congress doesn't need to do anything uh, right now. What 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 he what Biden needs to do is enforce the same laws that Trump and Obama uh, enforce. And you don't get to go and create the worst border crisis in American history and then use that as leverage to get left wing immigration policies passed as part of some compromise. First, the, pre the prerequisite is to secure the border. He has all the tools he needs to do it. He just needs to do it and stop choosing to have an open border. Mark, thanks for your time today. We'll talk again later in the week, okay? I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.